Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How is it going? <laughs> How was your day? So far, so good? Yes, that's awesome. Give me one second. I need to change my background. One second, please. This is... Oh, my goodness. Choose a background. Let me know if you got the right one. Yes, this is the right one, right? Okay, good evening, everybody. How are you? How was your day? What did you do? Are you fine? Are you okay? Are you happy? Are you excited? <laughs> All right. Awesome to see you again. This is our class number. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Well. 12. No, 13. <laughs> 13. 20. 11. <laughs> you don't know. Oh my God. You don't see the videos, right? <laughs> <laughs> 19. 19. I studied the Friday. <laughs> <laughs> you include Fridays, it's true. Mm -hmm. But we don't study Fridays, unfortunately. Is the class number? For two points. <laughs> 11. <laughs> 11. <laughs> okay. Mr. Edwin, good evening. How are you? Good, good. All good. That's great. I'm glad to hear that. Let me access to the attendance. It's loading. This is still loading. So, all right, here we have the attendance, the attendance list. Today is March. It's still March, right? March what? No. The 30th, yes, 30th, March 30th, oh my goodness, and it's Wednesday, right, Wednesday, March 30th, that's right, mm -hmm. are we ready for the attendance, aha, uh -huh, somebody say, oh, Brian says, uh, his microphone is not working. Oh, Brian. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. That's so sad. Yes. We're going to see Brian's message right here. All right. Brian Stanley already wrote on the chat and his microphone is not working. Damaris. Hello, Damaris. Are you here? Not yet. David, of course, Eduardo. Hi, good evening, Edwin. Mr. Mendez. Hi, hi. <laughs> Thank God your microphone works, Mr. Mendez. <laughs> okay, Stephanie. Present. Hi, Fatima Esmeralda. Present teacher. Hi, Fatima Lourdes. Not anymore, Fatima Lourdes. Fernando? Not yet. Isabel? I saw Isabel somewhere. Present teacher. Hi, Jocelyn? Hello, Jocelyn? Hi. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Here. Okay, thank you. Hi, Stephanie Beatriz. Yeah, here, right? Sorry. I, oh, Damaris, que no contestó. Damaris, not yet. Jeremias? Present teacher. Jeremy. Jessica? Janet. Jessica, Jessica? Not yet. Karen Michelle? Present teacher. Hi. 
Lourdes, Anaí. Hello, Lourdes. No yet. Marcos, Javier. Marcos. Oh my God, everybody's absent tonight. Nuria, Karina. Nuria. Not present. Pablo Josué. Present teacher. Hi. Good evening. Roxana. Ah, good evening. Present teacher. Hi. Miss Teresa. Teresa. Not here. Veronica. Veronica. Present. Oh my goodness. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Victor. Present teacher. Hi, Victor. And Jessica Marilu. I'm here, teacher. All right, Fernando appears. Sí. Señor, ayer, ayer no estuve, no estuve al principio y y ya cuando íbamos a cerrar clases se me descarga mi teléfono, no sé si me tomo mm, en cuenta. Really? Ya lo voy a verificar, don't worry. Give me one second. Thank you. There was oh, Tuesday, right? Fernando, Fernando. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes, sí. I got you here. Okay, no problem. Sí. Yep. Look. Okay, okay. Thank you. All right, anytime. Okay, welcome to our class number 11. <laughs> Teacher, me acabo de incorporar para... No sé si me puede I'm sorry. Gracias. Sorry, repeat your name, please. Damaris. Ah, Damaris, I was calling you. Oh my God, hold on, hold on, hold on. Damaris here. Thank you, Damaris. All right. Okay, as I was mentioning, let's start our class. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hope this is the right one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And today, yes, the reminder. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Hi. Hola. Ahorita vengo entrando, no, no podía conectarme. What happened? No estoy en la asistencia. Estoy. Okay, Marcus. Uh -huh. Give me one second, Marcus. One second, please. Oh my God. <laughs> Marcus, Marcus, Marcus. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, here. Thank you. All right. So let's switch. Let's switch the projection. Yes, the reminder, as I mentioned, of the norms, the expected behavior. So we're going to study frequency adverse tonight. To create sentences using frequency adverse or adverse of frequency, which is the same, and describe habits, but using adverse of frequency. We say adverse of frequencies are words that express how often or how frequent we do different activities, right? For instance, you say always, never, yes? So those are the adverse of frequency. And here we have, but before this, give me one second, cause I, I remember I have a game for you. Uh-huh, <laughs> because we love games, right? Let's see, we have this game, one, one minute, please. All right. Here we go. To review the full pyramids. Okay, here we go. Uh huh. Can you see the pyramid? Vegetables. Yes. Vegetables. No. Vegetables. This, the, the bottom, what is it? Grass, cereal, and bread. 
<laughs> okay, so we go. Incorrect, nah. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, right, we have the... Riva. No, it's okay. <laughs> uh, this one. Vegetable. Vegetable. Oh, yeah, this is the vegetables, right. Okay, vegetable. and this one? Fruit. Fruit. That would be fruit. fruits, right? Fruit. Uh-huh, and this one? Products. There are products. And this one? Meat and fish. Meat and fish. Meat and fish. All right, and this one? Fat, fat oil. Fat oil and sweet. Okay, fat oils and sweets. All right, nice. Yes, <laughs> that was very easy. I know. Woo. Correct. All of them are correct. So you got it. Okay, that was pretty easy. I know, but I have another one, and I and I like you to. Oh, give me one second, please. Okay. My dog is crazy, you know. Here. Okay, there it is. Countable and uncountable. Do you remember this? So the world wall. Get ready. Carrot. Countable. Countable. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uncountable. Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Countable. Letter B. Countable. Letter B. Uncountable. Uncountable. Wood. <laughs> I thought it was uncountable as well. So we're going to skip that. Okay, get ready for number three. Sugar. Uncountable. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of bonus here. We choose one. Oh my God. Uncountable. <laughs> Water. Can I skip that, I guess? All right. Uh huh. Uncountable. Uncountable. Okay. Countable. 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 That's right. We don't want more bonus. <laughs> we don't get any of this. All right. Yeah. Uncountable. Uncountable. Definitely uncountable. Countable. It's countable. That's right. Countable. Countable. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
another bonus round. <laughs> Uncountable. 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 <laughs> what happened? They cannot count the dogs. Uncountable. Uncountable. Sounds weird. Oh, goodness. Contable. Contable. <laughs> I help you. <laughs> Uncountable. Uncountable. All right. Countable. Countable. Oh my fast. Uncountable, <laughs> definitely. Oh my God, we have a lot of good points. Uh huh. Countable. <laughs> All right. Pineapples. Contable. Okay. Oh, goodness. Yeah, definitely it's a never ending game. <laughs> okay, no worries. Let's see, let's continue with the presentation. Remember that we were going to study the adverse of frequency. <laughs> okay, adverse of frequency, these are the most common ones. We have always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, never. Okay, here's the frequency, never, definitely, it's 0% okay frequency then we have always with a hundred percent so these are the opposites right and the question is usually do you ever or how often right sometimes it's in the middle like the 50 percent of frequency and then when it's almost always we say usually not very okay no as usually but very often we say often and less than sometimes we say hardly ever yes so as you notice the adverb of frequency goes between the subject and the verb say so i always eat breakfast i usually eat breakfast i often eat breakfast i sometimes eat breakfast i hardly ever eat breakfast i never eat breakfast sometimes i eat breakfast sometimes is the only exception 
can be between the subject and the verb or it can be at the beginning before the subject sometimes i eat breakfast do you ever have fish for breakfast yes i always do sometimes i do no i never do yes so the correct place is between the subject and and frequency Yes, the frequency adverb goes between the subject and the verb. And the verb, that's right. Okay, I'm going to give you this exercise. We're going to practice in the groups. I'm going to share the screen with you. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to share the screenshot. But let's complete the sentences in groups. I'm sorry. Well, my family, you know, they're very noisy. Okay. <laughs> So we're going to create groups of three. All right, here we go. ¿Alguien va a presentar o así con el teléfono? Sí, ahorita las la ah, presento. Okay. Ahí me dicen si, si se logra. Vea. Yes. Ok. Vaya, the, the first question. Hmm. What do you usually have for breakfast? Usually. Usually. Mm -hmm. The second. Mm. Yo no lo puedo compartir. No, no lo puedo compartir. Eso sería. O, o Juan. Sí. 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 No sé. Las practicamos. Sí, sí. 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 Eh, no sé si que me pregunto. Con. Eh, teacher, eh, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Tienen que decir las oraciones poniendo el adverb of frequency donde se debe decir. El que está en paréntesis. Por ejemplo, el primero dice, What do you have for breakfast? Entonces, el usually tendría que ir, What do you usually have for breakfast. Recuérdense que va entre el sujeto y el verbo. Sí. Uh -huh. Solo decir, let's just practice. Ok, gracias. No hay problem. Entonces, ¿quién empieza, compañera? Empiezo yo. Eh. Alguien más. Sí. La A, uh, what do you Use. Ahí sería. Hay. Hay yo. Hay often. Ajá. Hay have often. Creo que sería. Hay often have. Sí, estoy preocupado. El do you, do you eat 
ever prefer a word. Oh, I sometimes eat breakfast. This is the internal B. Y la última sería, do you usually eat rice for breakfast? No. No. I, no. I hardly ever have hardly rice. ¿Mm? ¿Sería así o no? Do you, do you usually la la antepenúltima do you usually eat rice for breakfast ¿Qué mm. piensa Esmeralda? Esmeralda se llama usted ¿verdad? Fátima Fátima Esmeralda uh -huh. Sí, va antes del antes del verbo o no. Do you usually? Usually eat rice for breakfast. Antes del verbo. La última sería no. I hardly hardly ever have. have Have a ride. Well, I often have coffee, cereal, and juice. Do you ever eat breakfast before? I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. Uh, do you do you usually eat rice for breakfast? No. I hardly, ¿cómo, teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Hardly ever. Hard, hardly. Hard, hardly. Yes, hardly uh -huh. ever. Ah, okay. No, I hardly ever hate rice. Okay. I hardly, hardly. hardly ever. Hardly, hardly. Hardly, hardly. Ever. Hardly, hardly. 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 ¿Usted los ha notado? Sí, para, digamos, de, de, practicar la pronunciación. Uh -huh. Me acabo de unir, no sé en qué ha pasado, es que me sacó Zoom. Y sí, me costó ingresar, creo que quizás por la señal. Ah, sí, estamos viendo lo, lo, la imagen que la señal compartió. Le repetimos para que ella vea. Uh -huh. hub, sería de... O si sería ahí, what do you, you, what do you usually have for breakfast? Luego literal. Well, I often have coffee, cereal with juice. Juice. Yes. Ok. Juice. Uh, do you eat do you eat ever breakfast at work? I have I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. Okay. Um do you usually eat rice for breakfast?
finish? Finish. No problems? Finish, yes, problem, <laughs> ever. A lot of problems. Es, <laughs> many problems. Many problems. What's the ever. meaning? Do you ever. ever? Do you ever? It's como alguna vez. Alguna vez desayunas en tu trabajo. Do you ever have breakfast at work? Okay, thank you. No problem. Okay, so what do you usually have for breakfast? Well, uh -huh. where I, I often I have often have coffee, coffee cereal, cereal, and juice. And juice. Okay, do you ever do you ever eat breakfast at work? Yes. I sometimes I have sometimes breakfast. have breakfast at my desk. Aquí tenemos two possibilities. I sometimes have breakfast or sometimes I have breakfast. Pero solamente existe esa exception con sometimes, no con todos. Sometimes, sometimes yes. Sometimes viene siendo como que a veces. A veces. Recuérdense que los adverbs of frequency son esas palabras que denotan con qué frecuencia hacemos algo. Ok. Yes. Always, oh. usually, often, sometimes, hardly, ever, never. Often, uh, okay. ¿a qué nos referimos, teacher? Con bastante frecuencia. Con Como frecuencia. Como 60% a menudo. A menudo. Uh -huh. Frecuentemente. Eh, frequently. Ok. Uh -huh. Y a... Uh, eh, Hardly ever. Casi nunca. Casi nunca. <laughs> I, never, said, nunca. I hardly ever eat pizza for breakfast. Ya lo he hecho, pero uh -huh. hardly ever. <laughs> Casi nunca. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. All right. And then we have, do you? Usually. Do you usually eat, eat rice for breakfast? Eat rice for breakfast. Rice for breakfast. No. <laughs> like, no? No. Hardly ever. I no. hardly I ever. I hardly ever. I ever have, have rice. Have rice. Have rice. Exactly. Vaya. Si tuviésemos que marcar o hacer algo así como está acá, ¿verdad? Marcado señalizado con un triángulo, una flecha, ¿dónde va el adverb of frequency? Pues lo haríamos. Entonces diríamos, well, I often, acá, okay. I often have coffee, cereal, milk and juice. No, cereal and juice. Do you ever, ever eat breakfast at work? Eat breakfast at work. I sometimes I have, sometimes breakfast. have breakfast at my desk. Do you usually, usually eat rice for eat breakfast? Rice for breakfast. No. No, I hardly ever, hardly ever have rice. Have I rice. hardly ever have rice. Yes. Okay, perfect. Hay alguien que nos ha escrito en el chat? Oh, Teresa. She is at work. Oh my goodness, Teresa. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. <laughs> All right. ¿Cómo sería cuando queremos preguntar, do you ever? Yes, ¿alguna vez haces esto? Y ahí nos van a responder con qué frecuencia. Yes. All right. Acá tenemos otro exercise, muy parecido. Solo que acá las sentences están... Scramble, o sea, scrambles que están en desorden, ¿verdad? Como scramble eggs. Entonces, las vamos a poner en orden las palabras para formar sentences. Y acá tenemos, I have breakfast on never weekends. Entonces, eso tiene que decir, I never have breakfast on weekends. Recuérdense, las oraciones inician con un sujeto, es quien hace la acción. Luego vamos a hacer... O vamos a poner, más bien dicho, el adverse of frequency. Luego el verbo y luego todo lo demás que sería complement. Luego estas sentences las van a reescribir con su información verdadera. For example, I never have breakfast on weekend. Y usted dice, yo sí, yo sí como los fines de semana. Entonces, I always have breakfast on weekend. 
<laughs> yes, yes, of course. Yes. Eso ni que pensarlo. <laughs> yes, of cuando course. Más. Cuando más. Co exactly. <laughs> no se han fijado que ahora está como in fashion, que dicen, oh, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Sí, vamos a desayunar el domingo. Dicen como, o sea, we never have time probably during the weekdays because we're always working. But on Sunday, gran desquitada, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> eso es lo que van a hacer ahorita, ¿ok? Primero, okay. ordenar las palabras para formular sentences. Y luego escribir esas sentences con su información real. Yes? Ok. All right, here you go. The same groups. Ahí está. La segunda sería ever. Early ever. Mm, sí, va unido, sí es cierto. Ajá. Uh -huh. I hardly ever eat uh, what at the snack. Um, eso último me confunde un poco, pero lo primero sí estoy segura de que es. I eat hardly ever eat hardly ever eat mm -hmm. at at gorg snack gorg yo creo que va gorg at snack en medio de gorg iría at mm -hmm. sí. y Snack, ¿qué es snack? Gold es como trabajo y snack. Uh -huh. Snack es como una chuchería, una merienda. Entonces sería, Entonces sería yo Ay. casi nunca. Como chuchería en el no. trabajo. Algo así. It's for pasta, tiene la La segunda, la cuarta sería I have, ay, esa no recuerdo. Uh -huh. I uh -huh. have tiene I have uh -huh. often, often I have I, 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 uh -huh, I often have dinner with my family. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. mm. Barbie with you on the information. Ahora con nuestra información. Mm. Pero veamos desde la primera, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Dale, Nuri. Voy a ver, uh, sería. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, haciéndolo. It, it is not. Sí, ¿verdad? It is not. Uh -huh. It is not sí. at work. At work. Ajá. La otra sería. Ahora, haciéndolo. En eh... positivo. A ver. Hay. Bueno, en positivo. I usually. Bueno, no podemos decir cada uno, todas, con la información de nosotros. Este, empezamos a decir las oraciones con nuestra propia información. Sí. Vale. Empiezo entonces con la primera, la mía sería... La... Dos, creo Entonces, yo, no. Cabal de 
tomando de ejemplo esas tres oraciones mm. que hicimos. Ajá. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ok. Así lo vamos a hacer. Yo en la dos voy a poner I never eat snacks for Number three. Number three. Um, I eat. I, I sometimes eat. A ver, aquí le podremos poner entonces hardly ever. Ok. Pasta for dinner. Uh -huh. Casi nunca. Uh -huh. Ok. Y... I no, always... Es cierto, es cierto. Sería. Yo estaba viendo la, la desordenada. Pero sí sería oh. entonces. I always have breakfast on weekends. Ok, sí, así. Um, la segunda mm -hmm. sería este, uh, Sometimes it work at snack I often have dinner with my family. Family with dinner. Mm -hmm. okay. With the scone. Con mi familia. Ajá. Familia, la cena. Entonces sería I, I often have with my family dinner. No, dinner with my family. Yo, with yo dinner como... with my family. Ajá. I often have. A menudo, verdad? Eh, mi eh, teacher, la que, la que have en este contexto es como yo usualmente tomo. Tomar la así. cena o cenar, comer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have dinner, have breakfast, have lunch. Entonces, mm -hmm. para corroborar, la cuatro quedaría. I often have my family eat with dinner. No. no, I often have dinner with my yeah, family. With my family, uh -huh. I, I often have dinner, dinner with my family. Because mm -hmm. have dinner, have lunch, have breakfast. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. I often have dinner with my family. My. Entonces aquí sería el often es a menudo. I hardly ever. I hardly ever eat chicken with my family. Sí. Uh -huh. My family. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, porque como Harley Ever tiene Hi Finish Finish All right, perfect Mm -hmm. We're going to see the sentences again. And now you're going to write on the chat. The first one. La van a reescribir en el chat, pero con su información real. 
Aquí decía, I never have breakfast on weekends. Pero, uh -huh. what is your real sentence? La van a escribir en el chat. The number one. Just the number one. No todas. Just the first one. Y así la vamos a ir haciendo. One by one. Uh -huh. I never have breakfast on weekends. What is the reality? <laughs> I, always, I always have breakfast on weekends. Okay. I always have breakfast on the weekends. On weekends. Yes. Everybody? I always have breakfast on weekends. I always have breakfast on weekends. Everybody always? Yes. Of course. <laughs> no hay alguno que diga, I sometimes have breakfast on weekends. Or I hardly ever have breakfast on weekends. <laughs> no, right? I always have breakfast on weekends. Yes. Yo creo que nosotros no somos una cultura de andarnos saltando breakfast. Yeah. Number two. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál era el orden correcto? Number two. I, I hardly ever snack. Eat snack at eat work. Snack at work. I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Aquellos que tienen escondida la galleta, los maní, los churros y todo volado. <laughs> Ajá. Mm, ya lo descubrí. Ajá. La soda. I hardly ever eat the snacks at work. Mm, I sometimes eat the snacks at work. Cuando nos llevan a regalar el pan dulce y coffee. Mm -hmm. I sometimes have. Okay. I sometimes eat the snacks at work. I often eat the snacks at work. Aquí hay más honesty. <laughs> I usually eat the snacks at work. I often eat the snacks at work. Yes? Perfect. Number three. ¿Cuál era el orden correcto? Yes. Mm -hmm. I sometimes eat Pasta, pasta for, dinner. for dinner. Yes, I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Uh -huh. ¿Y ustedes qué tanto son de andar cenando pasta? I hardly ever eat pasta for dinner. <laughs> I hardly ever eat pasta for dinner. And maybe in El Salvador, never, almost never. Pupusas. Pupusa. Yeah, we always have pupusas for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly ever eat pasta for dinner. <laughs> yes, actually, yeah. when I was in high school, oof, long time ago, I <laughs> usually had, usually had pupusas for lunch. Porque era para oh, único man. que alcanzaba. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine when you are a student, yes, it is difficult. So you don't have much money. And then we could buy uh, juice and pupusas for lunch. For breakfast, my mom made me some food and for dinner as well when I returned home. But for lunch, it was difficult. So I never eat pasta. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay. I never eat pasta for dinner. I hardly ever, I have to admit, hardly ever. When probably there's no more food, I can prepare some pasta, but it's not my favorite either. All right, and the last one. ¿Cuál era el orden correcto de la última? I often have dinner with my family with my family yes with i often eat family. dinner with my family i often have dinner with my family uh -huh. y ustedes que están a menudo es, más bien dicho cenan en familia i always i always have dinner with my family that's a nice tradition mm -hmm. okay yes. i always have dinner with my family nice that's a good tradition actually okay Questions? Is this clear? ¿O alguien le ha quedado alguna doubt? Any question? No? No more questions? Good. 
Ok. Lo hemos practicado con I, la primera persona, yo, ¿verdad? Pero recuérdese que los adverbs of frequency también pueden describir una acción o um, con qué frecuencia alguien más hace una acción. Y para el caso, vamos a estudiar o vamos a repasar que al verbo se le agrega S cuando describe una acción de una tercera persona para he, she, or it. Entonces, it se va a convertir en eats. Right, right. Bark, barks. Speak, speaks. Read, reads. Jog, jogs. Call, calls. Clean, cleans. Wash, watches. Watch, watches. Dance, dances. Fix, fixes. Obviously, aquí le dan. Quiero ver los mismos. Algunos más, otros menos, pero son los mismos adverbs of frequency. Always, usually, sometimes, rarely que viene siendo como rara vez, como hardly ever y never. Entonces, la question dice, Does Carmen usually study in her room? No, she rarely studies in her room. She usually studies in the library. Entonces vamos a hacer negative y luego la oración en affirmative. Vean el dibujo obviamente de referencia. Look at the picture. Does Carmen usually study in her room? No. She rarely studies in her room. She usually studies in the library. Yes? Yes. Bye. Veamos el otro example. Aquí ya tenemos nosotros que ir aplicando los adverbs of frequency. Si me muevo esta barra, nada más para acá. Does Linda usually eat lunch in her office? Y aquí no la vemos que está en la office, ¿verdad? Does Linda usually eat in her office? No. No. She never. Ajá. Aquí dice rarely. Rarely. She rarely eats in her office. Mm -hmm. Sería. She, she usually eats, eats, eats in, the, in, in the, the cafeteria. In the cafeteria. That's right. Does Alan always watch the news after the dinner? Aquí no veamos que no, que no está viendo las noticias, ¿verdad? The news. Does Alan always watch the news after dinner? No. No. He never, he never watches, watches, the news. watches the news after, after, after dinner. He after usually dinner. or he always... Show. Porque lo opuesto de never sería always. He always watches game shows. Game shows. Yes? Okay. ¿Está claro yes. el ejemplo? Yes. Okay. Bye. Almost. Bye. Entonces vamos a hacer unos más. Uh -huh. Does Diane sometimes read the National Star? Never. No, she never, no, never reads, never reads the, the National, National Star. Star. She usually or she always reads the Time, yeah, Time magazine. magazine. That's right. Does Henry usually wash his car on Sunday? Mm, no. Rarely. No, he rarely, rarely washes wash. his car on Sunday. He usually uh, washes, washes on Saturday. On Saturday. That's right. <laughs> Does your girlfriend usually jog in the evening? Uh, sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> no, she sometimes no. <laughs> jogs in the sometimes. afternoon. Ahí podría ser, ¿verdad? Does your neighbor's dog always bark during the night, during the day? Ay, uh, no. <laughs> no, he never barks during the day. He always barks at the night. At night, como la mía. My mm -hmm. dog's a crazy dog. Okay? So, that is how we use the adverse of frequency, okay? In third person. Okay? So, because of the 
attendance. Ahí está alguien más que, que no habíamos tomado el attendance. Uh, recuérdenme quién era, que iba a estar solo en on listening. I don't remember. It was Teresa. No. Teresa, okay. right? Yes. Okay, give me one second. Me comparte la pantalla. Let me share the screen. One second, please. Here we go. Okay. Teresa. Mm, vamos a hacer recuento de again. Damaris ya nos incorporamos. Fátima Lourdes ya no está. Jessica, Janet. No. Nahir, Lourdes, Anaí. Nahir. Nurien. I'm here. Here. <ríe> ya me parece que había visto alguien más también. Ok. Who else? Who else? Who else? Teresa. Va a estar on the, on the audio only. And that's it. ¿Hay alguien que no lo hayamos mencionado? Somebody. No. No. Jessica, Janet. Not here. No, not here. And Lourdes and I not here either. Okay, perfect. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to continue practicing the adverse of frequency. Cuénteme cualquier cosa y con qué frecuencia lo hace en el chat. Anything. Like, I always drink coffee in the morning. I never sleep before midnight. Any habits with what frequency? Usando cualquier adverb of frequency, cualquier hábito que usted tenga. On the chat, please. I always sleep late on Sunday. No, I usually sleep late on Sunday. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, all right. I always listen to music in the shower. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. I always drink coffee in the afternoon. Si no, a headache. <laughs> uh -huh. What else? Any other habits? I sometimes eat pupusa for dinner. Okay. I usually drink coffee in for dinner. I always drink soda in lunch for lunch. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Any other habits? Confessing, confess. <laughs> mm -hmm. What else? What else? No more. I usually have coffee in the evening. I usually do exercise in the afternoon. All right. No todos son malos habits, okay? I always use my cell phone for chatting. I always uh, do homework on the weekend. All right. I always do homework. No make homework, do homework. Okay, I always drink iced coffee. I hardly ever watch TV. Me too. I'm always working. <laughs> okay. What else? Okay. Todos practicaron, todos participaron. Everybody participated. Ah, ya vamos a revisar quién no. <laughs> okay. Great. Okay. I always love pasta. I usually watch TV with. Okay, while I'm having dinner, I always drink coffee with bread. All right. Okay, no problems. Keep practicing and I see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Okay, bye. Take good care. Night. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. bye. bye.